what's up? So, Justin, how has been your last two hours gone? Not stressed at all. Not stressed at all? No, not, not stressed, stressed at, all? at all. I'm not constantly refreshing a, a Best Buy pre-order page at all. Ah, Bobby. I'm the same way, Crockett. Same way, my friend. <laughs> same Bobby, way. Do you, have a, do you already have a PlayStation 5 in your possession, though? I, I already do have a PlayStation 5 in my possession. Well, not in my possession. That would be, that would be crazy, right? Um, yeah, your house. Um, no. Um, I, uh, I got one from Walmart, but I got the physical version from Walmart. Um, and that's not the, like the disc version from Walmart. And that's not the version I want with the digital version. So I'm trying. I got it because I was like, okay, I'm just going to get it in case things get really insane, you know, and you can't find these things anywhere essentially is what I was, I what, what I was doing. And I was like, okay, but when it goes live other places, I'll, um, I'll find it. Um, can you answer Cody's text right now? Justin? Thank you. Um, tell him we'll add him to the call in, in a minute. Um, and, uh, so, um, so I got it from Walmart, the disc version. And now I have it in my cart at Best Buy and it won't freaking finish. It just, it just does like the spinny wheel. Um, the spinny, I hit checkout, spinny wheel. I got, I got past it once, but for some reason it was stuck on, um, in-store pickup, even though, and it's like, but sorry, you have no stores within 250 miles that have these in stock. And I'm like, yeah, no shit. This is a pre-order. Like, wh I, why would you mean that option? Oh, I'm getting a longer, I'm getting a longer wheel right now, Mark. Ah, uh, no. No. Justin, how's your experience been? Well, I had two digital... Ver Bobby and I entered a pack, the Blood Pact. Uh-huh, yes. That whichever one of us could buy them would buy two of them in yeah. case the other one couldn't. Yeah. Uh, and I had two of them in my cart at Walmart, and I was at the checkout page, and I couldn't remember my password to Walmart. <laughs> so by the time I actually figured out what it was, they were gone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then I called my local GameStop, the video game store. The video game store. The store that tells I video games. Him, I was like, hey, by any miracle, do you, are you guys doing pre-orders? And he's like, but yes, we are. And I was like, do you have any left? He's like, we sold out of physical. I have three digital left. Now, I live only about like three minutes from there. And I was like, I'm on the way. Mm -hmm. And as I was getting on my shoes, Angela very kindly opened the door to the house and let me run out. <laughs> <laughs> Just a, a Justin-sized hole in the door? And <laughs> Basically. <laughs> and I rushed down there and I got in. I was like, hey, man, I was just on the phone. He's like, the guy next to you is buying the last one. And I was like, curse words. He's like, well, you could try the mall. And I'm like, dude, that's like 15 minutes from here. I was like, I live two minutes away and I didn't make it in time. I'm never going to make it. So then I got home and I was sitting at my computer and I just loaded up Target, Best Buy, Walmart, and Amazon Game and GameStop. And I was just refreshing on Target and it popped up. And like 35 seconds later, Bobby sent me Wario 64's link that they were up at Target and I was already in the process of checking out. So I have a digital. Yeah. And by the time I was like, okay, uh, let me, the time that digital link went up, um, um it was already sold out <laughs> digitally yeah so so the thing, the thing about the be this best buy thing is that it's not leaving my cart right it's like if i refresh it stays in the cart so i think probably everybody is is going this yeah i think i think me you and justin and andy um all have a disc version confirmed i think at least justin has a digital i have a digital um I'm hoping it's the digital and either I will cancel the pre-order for my physical or if anybody is like lacking in a pre-order that I know, I will save it for them so that they can make sure they get one. Um, I did get my email from Walmart though that was like, hey, confirmed. And they put like a hold on my credit card just to like test to make sure I had the money in my account when I was ordering it. So um, it means I'm pretty sure that means it, it's, I definitely got it. Um, but... This Best Buy thing is driving me freaking nuts right now. Amazon hasn't even started yet, so no, we'll I know, and that's gonna be nuts. That. And I feel like they're gonna sell it in two seconds. Um, probably. It's just a crazy, crazy time, my friend. 
Um, we haven't talked about, they did like a little, like, you know, one of their little, like mini conference things, um, before they, they, they did the big announcement. Um, and we now know, oh, we also know the, the launch lineup r- 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 now, which is mm-hmm. going to be, uh, a demon's souls. Um, it's going to be the Spider-Man miles Morales, um, game. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about like first party games here. I'm not talking about like, um, you know, obviously like the third party stuff that's going to be, that's going to be on there. Um, we've got that, um, Astro bot thing, right? That's going to be mm-hmm. launched. We know that for sure. Yeah. Um, and sack boys, big adventure, sack boys, big adventure. Uh, wasn't there one more that they confirmed? I think it was two different versions of the miles Morales game because they're going to have the ultimate edition comes with Spider-Man. Oh, right. That remastered version of Spider-Man. I mean, the big, the, the two big so ones are Spider, own, so, Spider-Man so I... and, uh, and what's it called? And uh, Demon Souls. Yes, those are the two big ones. And that's great. I mean, that's a, you know, that's probably like a 15-hour game and a 40-hour game right there, you know, um, which is great. Um, uh, the, the, so I'm, I'm, I'm good for that. Um, I'm excited about that. I mean, so that's cool. Um, we will get to that announcement, Groon. Yes, Final Fantasy. Um, so, um, so, so those are the big launch games. So that's two big launch games. This is good. I mean, those are two major launch games, right? Um, we, we still don't know. They said like, oh, Miles Morales, the Miles Morales game is like, you know, equivalent to a full game, but I don't, we don't know exactly what that means yet. We're not going to know that until it gets in people's hands and they're playing it. And they're like, oh, this game is seven hours or or four hours or this game is 15 hours like we just we don't know right um but it looked sure cool. it looks real good it looks real good <laughs> it looks really really good um it was <laughs> it was weird um that they didn't uh oh, well when they showed the demon souls trailer they didn't even put like a like holiday 2020 on it yeah it just it had no date at all um and um, and I said in our text chat at the time that I felt like that meant that it was going to be a launch game. But then, like the Miles Morales game said holiday twenty twenty when it when they showed that trailer. So they had some weird stuff going on w- w- with that whole business. They were very unprepared for this. Yeah. Um, because if you were following Jeff uh, Jeff Keeley, he. <laughs> You know, there's a there's a poll out there who had the better conference. Was it Sony or was it Jeff Keeley's after conference? Because <laughs> Jeff Keeley came out with all the real important information when pre-orders were going live. What was yeah. a, what was a launch game? I yeah. don't know why Sony just didn't take an extra two minutes to go over that stuff. Like pre-orders will be available tomorrow. Yeah. Nothing. Nope. Nothing. I, nothing. I, I think one hundred percent are trying to get out ahead of Microsoft. Yes. I I feel like th- those prices that faded in on that last slide were not set until Microsoft, like until they heard Microsoft prices. I don't know if they had, you know, they obviously might have known them before they went public or whatever. But and that Sony email thing where it was like, oh, be one of the first to get a PS5. Give us your PSN name and we'll check and see if you win the lottery. Yeah. Uh, that was supposed to be like, hey these guys will go first because we were told oh you'll have you'll know when pre-orders are coming you'll have plenty of time sony a hundred percent was like oh crap <laughs> let's get let's make sure that we can open pre-orders before microsoft does because microsoft was like we're gonna order pre-orders in two weeks yeah i know they're like we can beat them we can beat them we can beat them let's do it and <laughs> everything right now is on fire over there <laughs> If they didn't make if they didn't make such damn good video games, this like it, they, they they have the high possibility to just be a big dumpster fire over there. Yeah, they know what they're doing when it comes to making them. Um. Oh yeah, <laughs> they and they did tell us, and I, I posted this in our in our text chat too. But they um, they they the, the Sony had said, oh, don't worry, you'll have ample warning before pre orders go live. That didn't happen. No. <laughs> Somebody broke embargo. My guess is somebody broke embargo, or or so, like somebody broke the dam, and I think it was Walmart. They were the first ones through. They were the first ones once, through. 
and then once Walmart, I think everybody was like, it's open season. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I, I don't know like why they were, why Walmart of all places was able to get out the fastest on it, but. You know what's the funny thing is? I got my Switch from Walmart. Walmart was like an hour faster than everybody else when the Switch mm. came out. I ordered my. Oh, I really hope what happened with my Switch has not happened with this. <laughs> Which is, I ordered it from what Amazon like super early. And like, oh, well, that's no, right. That's I right. got it from Walmart. And then I was like, and then I also pre ordered from Walmart. But then the Amazon pre orders came up and I got one. And I, and I, and, and I was like, okay, I'm going to cancel the Walmart pre order because um, I'd rather get it from Amazon and I can like use my, my gift cards on Amazon to pay it off before it comes out, before they charge my card. Um, so I did that and I got it all paid off before it came out. I was on launch day, it was, the tracking was good. It was like, okay, it's gonna be there tomorrow, whatever. And then I started to notice those, like, those bad signs, right? That it was like, it's gonna be here tomorrow, but it's still in Atlanta or whatever, you know? And I was like, Eh, I forgot about that. Eh, I don't think that's true. And I, and I was like emailing them and calling them and being like, guys, is this coming tomorrow or not? Uh, and they're like, oh, it'll still be there. Don't worry. Sometimes tracking range takes a while to, you know, to um, catch up. And it was like, it was, so then it was like midday on launch day and it wasn't there. And it was still, the last tracking information was still like in Atlanta. And I was like, and I kept telling them, they're like, no, it says it's going to be there. I, I, I mean, it doesn't look good, but I, 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 maybe they're just laid on opening the track information. And then, um, and, and then, uh, and then all of a sudden the, the tracking information changed and it was like a week from then, um, it was going to get there. And I gave like, I gave like Amazon, like unholy hell for it. I was like, I had another pre-order at another retailer and I canceled it. And you know, I, you know, whatever. And they gave me like a 20% discount on That's what I right. already ordered, which was, and I had not paid a dime for it because I just traded stuff in. So, and it, my whole order was like, it was the switch. It was Zelda. It was one, two switch. It was like a pro controller. So like, it was like a big, uh, like number as far as like the the total of the order so i got a bunch of money back from that and then and then i was just i was very upset right i was like and my wife was uh, knew i was very upset and, and i see her like on her phone my wife and, and my wife and then all of a sudden she goes okay let's go get in the car i was like what she's like they have them at best buy like i or i just i just ordered it and, and, and hit it for in-store pickup and i was like what and we had to go to Best Buy in Riverhead, which is like a town like 35 minutes away from, from where we live or whatever. But we got there and I got one. So I got the one. Um, I got the one with the colorful controllers, which I wanted, and I got it. But it was still like very stressful. Uh, I just hope that doesn't happen this time around. <laughs> um, but anyway, let's talk about the other announcements. Um, Mark lost his digital edition in his cart. It doesn't happen to me I'm yet, a, I'm sure. I'm, I'm, sure I'm, doing a quick, I'm doing a quick check around for you right now. All right. We're going to see what happens. Um... So let's talk about more stuff that got announced. Um, Final Fantasy 16 led off the conference. And they usually... <laughs> I'm going to read, with your permission, Justin, I'm going to read our... It's mostly me, so I think it's fine. Our text message chain when it Go started. Um, so I just write... <laughs> um, I wrote, what with three... The trailer started, and I saw the chocobos, and I was like, what with three question marks? Justin, what am I looking at? Oh, holy shit. Then I wrote, holy fuck. And, and here you go, this can't be Final, Fan Final Fantasy 16. I said, it looks like it. And then and I said, he said, this looks darker than Final Fantasy. I said, this looks like old Final Fantasy. And then he said, they lead off Final Fantasy with Final Fantasy 16. Holy shit. And I wrote, what? Crazy. Crazy stuff. And it looks like, it's like fantasy Final Fantasy. It's not like robo fantasy Final Fantasy. You know, they haven't done one of those since what? Nine, I guess was the last one they did. Um, PlayStation I One. Was, I was very surprised that they led off the conference with it. I, I yeah. really thought that would have been like, and there's one more thing, and we'll yeah. get to that too. Because I was like, if if they're showing Final Fantasy now, what are they closing with? Yeah. Um. So, uh, that's a console exclusive. There was a note on it that said, "Oh, also coming to PC," but apparently that's not necessarily true yet. That happened twice in this conference where they wrote like also coming to PC. And then afterwards they're like, mm, maybe not. It's not coming to PC. <laughs> so Someone's that'll happen again at. in our discussions. 
Um, it um, did they confirm it's a Final Fantasy VII combat, Max? Um, it looks like it for sure. Um, but uh, it definitely looks like sort of like that sort of vibe. Yeah, I mean, seven, fifteen—they're both kind of similar, right? So, um, they had similar combats. Um, but yeah. Um, then they went into Spider-Man Miles Morales, which was playing some thumping music. Um, but great. Looks so great good. Great music. Looked very good. Um, good effects. Good to that kind of stuff. Um, I'm very excited to play that. I loved Spider-Man, so we'll, we'll, I'm excited to try that out. We'll see what it is and fully. The, the thing I just wanted to note was yeah. a good showing of the differences between Miles and Peter. Yeah. Definitely, yes. Like still very, still very um, agility based, but you know they had the invisibility, they had the web, like the uh, the venom shocks. It, I was I, I was stunned by how good it looked. Yeah, yeah, very very different than playing than playing as Peter for sure. Um, Alejandro says first Final Fantasy in a while that it has him excited. Um, you liked Seven though, right? Didn't you, Alejandro? I, I swear the other night you were in here singing the praises of Seven. Um, good job, Megs. Megs, you got one? Nice. Which one did good you get, job. Megs? Did you get disc or digital? I'm wondering. Um, got the disc. Okay. Um, so... You know who the villain is for Spider-Man. Keep it to yourself. Did you oh. not watch the trailer, Groon? Um, <clears throat> but this, uh, I liked Final Fantasy 15. It had a really bad, some really bad moments, <laughs> especially that one chapter, which was like never ending and not very good. Oh, un oh, okay. Um, I have to watch then, the trailer again, apparently. And then after the Miles Morales trailer, we got what was probably the most unfortunate trailer in the presentation not because it didn't look cool just because of everything that's going on around it um which it was the harry potter hogwarts legacy uh game that's coming out which looks like a third person like open world like uh action adventure game maybe an action or rpg ish action game? rpg yeah yeah which looked very cool um but uh um oh justin you're also you're kind of giving that a little bit of that crackle again you might be a little too close to the mic again i just push it away from you a little bit yeah i have um, pushed it away okay and so yes I, I am right there with you megs meg says i am so torn it looks so cool but fuck jk rowling agreed um it, it really torn because I, I, she is like actively a negative force in the world at the moment you know what i mean and it's not like oh this author is long gone and they used to be a shithead you know it's like no she's currently a shithead and making millions of dollars every time somebody buys a harry potter thing so um i just i don't know i don't personally don't know what to do <laughs> when it comes out we'll have to see what happens um but it looked well, and it's it's hurt it hurts even more because it looks fucking cool how much money would it take for somebody to come in and do the notch deal with I, her? Dude, I like it, the, Harry Potter is it, like the, the amount that that franchise is worth is like, I don't know. It's worth billions of dollars. Yeah, I know. I'm just thinking like, can somebody do it? You know, cause notch turned out to be a huge dick and uh, Microsoft was like, we're just going to take Minecraft. And here's a billion dollars. You just go over there and Minecraft is now ours. And he was like, okay. And he took the billion dollars. It'd be very nice if some very rich, rich company would be like, here's a, here's a truckload of cash. We now own Harry Potter and you can't soil it any further. Yeah. I mean, Have they could fun. do the, the Disney Star Wars stuff, right? Yeah. Um, we'll She's see what happens. She's a bitch is what she is. She's terrible. I know, but I really want to play that game, and I feel so bad for the devs. I know, the yeah, devs I know. Are quite, like, The devs have been working on this thing for three-something years before any before she revealed herself to be a huge asshole. Yeah. 
or maybe or maybe revealed herself to be that big of an asshole. I don't know what yeah, she was like. Yeah. She, you know? There was always kind of rumblings of it, but the last couple of years have definitely been like, oof. Yeah. And uh, they're like, I mean, it, Bloomberg reported a couple of months ago, like, oh, the devs are not happy about this. And yeah, they're they're knowing that their game is on the line thanks to her. Yeah. Um, they showed some Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I mean, it looks cool. But it's Call of Al Duty. Alpha so. this weekend. Is it open to everybody or you have to pre-order? It's a, I think it's an open PlayStation thing. Oh, okay. They're in a very hard place, Groon. I mean, it's not the dev's fault. Don't get me wrong. It's not the dev's fault at all. Um, but, man. Okay. Uh, they showed some more of uh, Resident Evil Village Resident Evil. <laughs> Resident Evil 8. Um, got a new story trailer. Um so that's coming out in 2021. We know that now. I don't think they put a date on it the last time when they showed that original like reveal or whatever. So we know no, 2021. Don't, don't um, so. It looks it looks rad. It looks very different. Um, I can't wait either, Mags, for us to stream Village. <laughs> Stop it, Mags. Hopefully the pandemic will be over and we can be in the same room again by the time that happens. Um, uh, it looks neat. I, I'm digging like the like the setting and sort of like that weird like fairy like scary fairy tale vibe they had going on um seems like some sort of like new shop master um at the very end they teased that or whatever so we'll see um we saw a bunch of death loop um which is coming out next year got delayed from this I'm year i'm so excited for that game looks very neat Look, looks like you know um arcane with like a bunch of attitude going on yeah which is neat um you think that's a shop key from resident, resident evil 4 it's just like older and fatter, Grun, because he looked like the penguin or something. Um, I mean, four was like was a watershed game, obviously, and changed a lot. Um, and there aren't really zombies, you know, in seven, so it makes sense why there wouldn't be zombies in eight either. Um, but yeah, I don't know what's going on with the Chris stuff. The Chris thing should be interesting. Yeah, it does look the new Resident Evil game is taking place in Barovia, site of our D and D campaign. <laughs> um, but yeah, we saw Deathloop, which looks rad as hell. I'm very interested. I'm very interested, Justin, in how that multiplayer works, and it, and if it's just like you're playing and you get like a notification that like, hey, somebody's entered your game, or it doesn't tell you at all, or if you if there's like a, if you as a player can be like, if you're just playing regular Deathloop as the, as the regular main character, do you get a pop up that goes like, hey? There's there's games open for you to invade. Do you, would you like to invade? Is it a whole separate menu that you load into and you just kind of bounce back and forth game to game? You yeah, know, I don't like, know. Because like, how long does like a does the invasion sort of like like multiplayer aspect last? You know what I mean? Because you wouldn't be hunting them for their entire loop. But again, we don't know how long the loops are. You know, so uh, who knows? Uh, very interested to see how that all works. Did they, Me too. what they did that in? in was it Watch Dogs that they did that in? Yeah, they in, do that in Watch Dogs. Right, where you, where like, you can invade other people's stuff. Yeah, Yeah. okay. Um, I mean, of course, they do it in like, the Souls games, but I'm just talking about other games. Um, Devil May Cry 5 is coming to PlayStation 5. Um, Justin got excited for a moment in our text chat thinking it was something else, but I don't know what he thought it was. I thought it was Ninja Gaiden at first. Oh. Well, that'd be weird if it was a Capcom like, game. <laughs> yeah, I... I now That's that an Amco Bandai that. joint. Yeah, I know. Um, but for a second, I it looked it looked like it, and I was like, "Wait, wait a sec! Oh, never mind." Uh, Devil May Cry with new stuff you're excited for, Cody? I I didn't finish Devil May Cry Five. I liked what I played of it. I liked those games. Um, I I kind of like I was kind of still working when this conference was going on. So when the Devil May Cry logo came up, I just like sort of like checked out and went back to like intensely working. Um. Devil May Cry 5 fucks is what Cody says. Um that was the that's not that was that was not announced yet in this lineup of things that came after the next thing, which was the Demon Souls trailer. Gameplay trailer. Once it was a gameplay trailer, I was like, okay, this is a lot closer. This is close. Because it looked like just somebody playing the game, you know? Um it looked good too. It looked smooth. Yep, it did look good. Um I'm sure it's going to be terribly hard, um, but we will play it. I will play it on stream. 
I can promise you that. <laughs> I'll watch. I'll get that PlayStation 5 launch day and hook that baby up to my capture card and be playing uh, Demon Souls Remastered, baby, for $70. Because that's how much it's going to cost for a new first party game. $70. Uh, Is everybody ready for that? A. Eh? Um, then next they showed Fortnite coming to a PlayStation 5 at launch. If you can, if you can, if you can be surprised by that. Alejandro you says you better play. play. <laughs> we'll see. Um, we'll see. You forget, everybody stopped watching when I was playing Dark Souls because I got too mad. Did you get very mad? Mm. That's why after, I play happy games now. After Sekiro, it's going to be a treat. I'll tell you that right now for me. I liked how in that trailer, he was one-shotting everything. I'm like, wow, this guy's so overleveled. Yeah. And, and then, then he, he gets got to, to the that boss, boss and dies within like two seconds. I'm like, this is not an accurate representation of what these games are like. Except the dying part. That's real. Yeah. He, the guy, that guy took like three hits without blocking from the boss and then tried to block the boss, got broken, and then just got killed. You like, very nicely said, looks like Justin's playing a boss. <laughs> yep, because that's, that's, that's what happened. Um, then... Uh, Sony announced um, this thing called a PlayStation Plus Collection. Um, um, and it's a collection of PS4 console exclusives like God of War, Last of Us Remastered, Detroit Become Human. Um, there was a bunch of some of them, Uncharted 4... Final Fantasy Persona 15, 5. Persona 5. I'm assuming regular Persona 5, not Royal. Um, it was regular. Yeah. Um, a bunch of last generation games that, if you're a PS Plus subscriber, it's greatest. It's exactly what it is, Gruen. It's the like it's like their greatest hits collection that you can buy in a store. They have that little, the little red box. Um, um, as like a PS Plus collection for PS5 players, which is cool. Uh, I saw some people kind of overreacting online being like, this is their game pass. Um, no, it, no. It's a bunch of it last generation games that you only get if you've got a PS5. So it's, it, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. It is cool to be able to say like, man, like I never got to play blank or like, hey, like you like, like to my wife, do you want to play through this game that you never saw, but you always wanted to see and didn't buy? We can play through it here. But like, is it coming to P They said a PS5 benefit for PS Plus subscribers. That's what the wording was Um, when the trailer came up. I, I It could very well go to PS4 players too. I don't know. Regardless, it's a bunch of last generation games. It's not truly going to be a Game Pass situation um, in, until they're putting their new games on there or, like, they're having a collection of games that stay. I mean, it's cool. I think it's a cool thing. It just it should be taken with, like, for what it is, essentially. Um, so, and then they announced the price and the release date. So, for $500 for, sorry, $500 for the disc version, $400 for the all-digital version, um, November 12th, it's going to be available in U.S., Japan, Canada, um, and November 19th for the rest of the world, apparently. Um, I don't know I, I don't know all the regions it's available for on the 12th. I think it's all the major markets, I believe. Was it also U.K., or is U.K. the 19th? No, oh, U.K. is the 19th, oh. so we have one thing to say. We say, suck it, Hugh. Yeah, sorry, Hugh. Deal with it. I'm going to be playing Spider-Man before you. Ha-ha! That's that's if our if my console comes from Target on time because uh -huh, it's yes. giving me a week long window. Oh yeah, Target did. I my my Walmart thing said by no, on November twelfth it will be here. That's what they told me on, on Walmart. We'll see. Um, then we saw a human face for a half a second of Jim Ryan, the head of PlayStation, that said, "Okay, now you know." Um, by the way, here's um. Is my oh my, is Miles Morales available for PS4? Whatever. <laughs> um, he won't play it. On, he won't play it on PS4. He'll play it away for PS5. Um, Jim Ryan said one more thing. 
Uh, and then they showed a like teaser, a teaser in quotes, an image that was turned into a logo um, for God of War. Did they say it was called God of War Ragnarok? They said Ragnarok is coming, but did they yeah, say it was called that, God like, of War Ragnarok? They, they put Ragnarok on the screen for like a little bit and yeah. then it is coming. So I think it's called Ragnarok. Okay. Um, I'm, uh, of course, very excited because that game, that, that first game is really something Excellent. special. Yeah. This digital version of this console is just sitting in my fucking cart and I can't do anything with it. It's here. It's here. It's here. I don't know if it's coming through on the camera or not. It's just sitting in the cart. And I even re I re it even went out to like the main screen of the Best Buy website and went back in to say like, maybe if I just do that, it will just take it out of my cart and say, sorry, buddy, you lost it. Nope, it's still sitting there. Just won't go to checkout. I don't know why. So whatever, man. Um, but anyway, very excited. 2021 for God of War Ragnarok. That makes total sense. Um, very, very exciting. That's going to be freaking awesome. Um, that thing's not coming until 2022 is my guess. Why do you think that? Just a guess that it'll get it like 2021. It's probably holiday 2021. One delay puts it in 2022. I don't think it's, I don't know if it's holiday 2021. I really? think it's like be... March 2021. That's when the first game came out. That's when that other game came out. Bobby, I can only get so erect. Stop it. <laughs> That's just my guess. Can, can You know, based on when the last God of War came out. Hey, Andy. Andy, hello, my friend. You missed all of the hype. You missed all the stuff, so you should be very happy. You don't have to hear us talk about the PlayStation. We're pretty much at the end of it. Um, um, I mean, it makes sense. One of the, it was 2018? Was, was it 2018 that The Last God of War came out? I thought it was, yeah, 2018 sounds right. I thought it was 17, but you're right. It was probably 18. It was whatever year Oberdin came out. So, because mm. it came out the same year. I'm sure it was 2018. All right, we'll take we'll say 2018. Yes, it was 2018 because I played it in this house. Mm -hmm. so, so you're yeah. right on time, Andy. Now you get to see us play a Magic Battle Royale, which I know is what you're really after. <laughs> um, okay, they did say that Horizon was coming to PS4. Um, I will say, Grun, that. Um, I shudder to think how games that are on the PS5 are going to run when they're uh, in their PS4 versions. Considering how games are running currently on PS4 that are made for PS4, so yeah. I, even if the even if the graphical improvements aren't that much, even if it's not that the First party is going to be really taking advantage of like the loading times and stuff on the new console. I think all of which, them will take advantage of the loading times. Yeah, but even but for you, would, you would assume that first party games even more that could uh, design around it would see a bigger benefit than maybe something that was all platforms. You know. Yeah. We we shall see. Yeah, we shall see. And I was right. Like, it was 2018, and they probably did start work on it right away because they never came out with DLC for that game. They did not. Meg, thank you so much for joining us. 